This program is brought to you by Emory University. There were really two major issues uh, that JFK was dealing with when he came into office. One was civil rights and the other was the Cold War. And what's, it's a bit ironic about the civil rights issue is that we think about JFK as a great champion of civil rights. But at the time, many civil rights groups were very disappointed in his performance. Kennedy was right in the midst of complicated political issues, and it isn't clear that he was doing all that well with them. After he died, he was at once granted the, the attributes of a martyr, and, and uh, especially in view of what happened next, all sorts of people who disliked President Johnson's policy said, if only the, uh, the great President Kennedy had lived, none of this would have happened. Actually, that's not at all clear. The biggest misconception about Oswald is, is in part what I think is, is the biggest misconception about the Kennedy assassination. Um, first of all, uh, lots of people today think that uh, John Kennedy was assassinated as a result of some vast right-wing conspiracy. Oswald was a loner. He was a, a, a very troubled man. And the thing I think that many Americans today don't realize about Lee Harvey Oswald is that uh, he was also a communist and uh, he had defected to the Soviet Union. So he, he was a deeply, deeply troubled man. And, um, you know, we may never know the exact reason that he killed Kennedy. It really was a, a nationally traumatic event. Uh, on the same magnitude as the response to the bombing of the World Trade Center in, two, in 2001. Everybody was affected. The TV stations covered nothing else for several days. They even stopped running commercials. His funeral was a spectacle. In fact, it was one of the first great media events in the new television age. The images from the, uh, from the funeral uh, were indelible. For many Americans, it was their first major encounter with the kind of tragedy that kind of drew everyone together. And the power of television was that everyone could experience it simultaneously. And so it really was one of these first great uh, kind of um, moments where television brings people together. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.